Welcome to To Enable Help. In this video, I'm going to explain who can contribute and control content on the platform. To begin with, you have to be a teacher in order to be in, in the space of contributing content or approving content. So to understand whether you're a teacher on the platform, if you go to my organizations, you need to be a member of an organization. And in one of the organizations, you need to be assigned mentor rights. So in this case, Demo User is assigned a mentor rights within Casterbridge Music Development Academy. And what that does is it provides you access to my classrooms. So while this loads, what you'll see is this on, there's a tile cluster, which is my classrooms. So here are my classrooms, and that allows you to manage learners and classes of learners on the platform. So to contribute content, we go to the curriculum space, which is learner and teacher resources and I'm going to choose physical science for this example and I'm going to open up physical science I'm going to choose step four which is what I've been demonstrating in previous videos and you will notice in this space and I'm first just going to disconnect from the hub in this space what we have are a variety of resources now these resources have been uh, aggregated and developed by Candice Rennie who's put together this week of content. You may think you have a better resource than what we have developed here or delivered here and we are not claiming to deliver the best content. What we are offering is a mechanism for you as a teacher to contribute better content. So in the contributions tab this contributions tab is only visible to users who are teachers where they have that mentor indicator ticked. So teachers can access teacher resources and here are some ready-made PowerPoints for instance and they can also contribute content. So here they can add a contribution. So they can give the resource they wish to contribute a name, they can give it a description, they, if it's content they've created they can attribute it correctly to themselves. They can decide is it a student resource or a teacher resource and the student resource will deliver the content in this panel. If it is a teacher resource, it will be delivered only to teachers in this panel. And this contribution relates to this week. So if you wish to contribute content into a different week, you need to go and find the subject, find the grade, and find the specific week, and then you contribute the resource into that week. And here you put the web link of that resource. So for instance, that is a web link. Now this obviously is not a resource that you would want to contribute, but if I were to change the browser, here are videos that we have um, uploaded, and this could be a video you've created, which is better than any of the videos we have on the system. And you take that web link and you copy it. Now that web link is going to take, bring us to this page where we can have a look at your video. And um, I'm just going to pause that Welcome because... To turn on help. This quick video is going to show you so we're uh, pausing uh, that. What happens when a user is uh, added as a member of an organization? And it's peculiar. Okay, that's paused. And you type that URL here. So I'm just going to paste it. Okay, so I have copied it from the resource I have. Now, this could be a Dropbox link. It could be a OneDrive link. It could be a YouTube link. Okay, um, so long as it's a resource that you have created and you have rights to contribute, you're welcome to copy the link and then paste it in here and then save the resource. And what that'll do is it'll add it to the resources that are that have been contributed to the system. And later, if there are resources for you to approve, there will be another link which appears here. Okay, so for instance, this is a physical science grade 10 resource that you've contributed. Other physical science grade 10 teachers, it will appear in a link resources to approve and they will go and they will watch your resource and they'll give it a rating and if your resource is highly rated the application will automatically accept it so that is how you contribute resources to the platform and only teachers are able to contribute resources and you can contribute resources as ready-made powerpoints to for teachers to use in the classroom or you can contrib contribute resources into this list of resources for learners and teachers to use um, in the process of learning and teaching. So that is how a user contributes resources to
platform.